Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to this video tutorial for the LSP Christmas Magic Photoshop Actions. In this tutorial, this is a watch over my shoulder while I edit this image. For the complete tutorials, including installing the Actions Hub to get them in coloured button mode, um, depending on whether you're using main Photoshop or Elements, please watch the first tutorials. This is one of the Watch Me edits. So I'm going to dive straight in, editing this gorgeous image by Amy at Slinky Photography. So let's just get this image uh, full size here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is crop in the image. Uh, you can keep the ratio of your image, which is normally a 3 by 2 on your camera. Or if you wanted to, you could crop to a 7 by 5 which just takes some of those edges off, but it's still very, very printable for your clients. You often find if you're using a background, the background might look a little bit small. OK, so I've just cropped that one in. Uh, next up, we're going to come on to the Santa's workbench section. This is the image balancing section. So I'm going to use the teeny tree farm balancer because this brightens up the image a little bit. Once the balance is played out, you can um, change the opacity if you want to. You can turn this up or down uh, just to get that right balance for the image. I'm going to try and keep this beautiful dark background that Amy's achieved on the image here. And we're just going to lift and lighten the faces a little bit more. So we can bring the lights up by clicking the lights up action. You can play it as many times as you like to bring those lights right up, but a black brush is selected for you. Normal mode, 100% opacity, 25% flow. I'm just going to take this off some of the areas. And again here. Just want our subjects to be brightened up, so I'm just painting this away. Because the black brush is selected, I don't need to actually choose anything else. I can just go ahead and paint that away. I'm going to play a flash of contrast because often when you're using um, a background in your images, sometimes the contrast is just not there. So a little flash of contrast, but I'm painting this off our subjects in anywhere where it looks a little too dark. So you can see there just in seconds, really, we've just balanced our image out for a beautiful Christmas edit that we're going to do. So now down into the brush section. Let's play the light up brush. And for this one, um, it's a black layer mask, meaning it's hidden and a white brush is chosen for you. So I'm just going to dab this over the faces, just because these are the main feature of the image. We want to be able to really see those little faces. At this point, you can do any skin editing you need to do. If you need to do a full, more comprehensive skin edit, you can download one of the larger sets from LSP. But in the skincare stocking filler section, you do have an exfoliate quick clean up skin brush. And this will help give that polished look any little flakes, spots and scratches on the skin. You can just go ahead and paint those and it's going to really minimise those areas. And these gorgeous children here. So I'm just coming over and painting that. How's Santa looking? He's looking pretty good. OK. So you also have face mask softy skin. It does exactly what it is. It just softens that skin down. So don't paint this on any areas like the eyes or the lips, any areas that you want to keep sharp. But you can see that softening in there. It just gets rid of any other extra little bits remaining blends everything beautifully. I'm going to play the sharp eyes and details brush now and we're just going to dab that over any areas of the faces we need to sharpen up just to really make this images pop. That's Santa's glasses, sharpen them up. So we're looking a lot sharper now so we see there before and after. We're really getting our edit on. So you also have the colour corrections here, the Kringle colour brushes. I'm going to play the Red's Rogue Remedy just to take a little bit of red out of Santa's face around the top. Of course we don't want to uh, affect those jolly cheeks though. I'm also going to play the Rudolph Bright Reds here. Pop Santa's outfit up just a little. And the Red's Deep and Plush for the pyjamas. So you can see I'm just dabbing that on and that's just going to balance the reds in our image. I could also play Dark Knight Brush and I could just dab a little bit of that on the images too. So it's just about making these reds match just a little bit more on the overall. I'm just going to darken around the top as well here. The great thing about brushes is you can tailor where you're painting them on. So now we've got to this point, we're down into the festive fix it section. It's Select and Fix from LSP with a twist using Photoshop Content Aware or if you're on the newer version of Photoshop, if you've done an update recently, you will have the generative fill. So what you can do with this one, play the setup fixing layer first um, and that creates this brand new layer here in your layers panel. 
Next up, you're going to want to grab a selection tool. I'm using the polygonal lasso. You could use uh, you could use marquee, you can use patch, you can use um, the freeform lasso. It really depends on what you're selecting. So I'm just coming around the edge. You can hold down shift to make more than one selection. So I'm just going to come in there. And there's a tiny bit there. So I've selected the areas around the background we want to fix and I'm going to use the new Photoshop generative fill to do this, which I've worked into the action. If you're on an older version of Photoshop, you can use this one here, Fix version 1, which uses Photoshop content to wear. Any kind of fixing you do, bear in mind, you know, the Photoshop is not perfect, it tries its best, um, but if there's any discrepancies in the fixing, you can use a clone um, or the patch or the healing tool just to smooth them down a little bit. So you can see here, Generative Fill has not done the best job in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that layer. Back onto the Fixing layer, make our selection again. And I'm going to try the uh, Photoshop Content Aware. By the time you watch this, you'll be watching this in the future at some point, and I'm hoping that Generative Fill would have got better. So using Photoshop Content Aware has not done a bad job at all, so I'm just going to deselect that. I'm going to zoom in. And you can collect, select clone stamp, hitting S on your keyboard or grabbing the clone stamp up here. And you can use this just to help clone in any other areas. Make sure you're on the mask, um, on the layer, any layers that look a bit strange, any little areas. Just go ahead and fix those. And I'm going to darken these areas down a lot as well. So I'm just grabbing clone stamp. I'm going to set the hardness up a bit because we're going around the edge. Holding down Alt to select an area. Just a little bit here, I'm just going to use the fix it area action again. Just see if it wants to bring in a little bit of floor. And now with a brush set to black, I'm just going to use the mask to take this off this area because we want this box in there. So I'm just patching these areas just to tidy up a little bit. Now on the brushes, how about we play Dark Knight brush again. Come up to a nice large brush and I'm just going to darken that area right down. And there we go. Not the most elegant fix, but it worked. Okay, so next up. Past the fix it section, we're into the sprinkle of magic section. This is where you really start making the Christmas mini magic happen for your image. Before we get there, actually, I've just noticed Santa's gloves look a bit right. I'm going to play the White Knight Rescue. Like I said, this is an edit over my shoulder. So I'm just rescuing those whites a little bit here. Just so the focus is back on the faces. You see there before and after. We've just taken that brightness down in the gloves. So down to a sprinkle of magic section, I'm going to click paint on a glow. And this is going to give us a brush that we can use. Make sure your brush is set nice and soft, normal, 100% opacity, 25% flow. And let's start adding some glow to these lanterns. I'm just going to click a few times. It's great if you use a square bracket keys to start off small and then making your brush a little bit larger just to add that glow. So we've added the lanterns in, there's some little lights here, so let's add just a touch of glow by giving them a double click. <laughs> if you can hear children shouting, it's not your imagination. My children are playing in the other room and being a little bit noisy. Okay, so let's turn that glow on or off. And you can see now we've turned the lights on in the image. You can also light up areas around these. Um, what I'm going to do, take that flow down, just so it's a very, very little brush, just to add some glow where it would naturally be falling on the objects around. This is a really nice background. 
You see that? We've turned the lights on. Above the glow, you have whiten and lighten, so you can turn these on to make the lights white or really, really bright. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. You can also turn the opacity up to full if you want to and change the opacity on this glow layer. In the magic section, you also notice that your actions come with um, magic trail, light trail overlays, and they also come with um, magic glow overlay. So you can click here to apply magic glow overlay, locate these on your computer, make sure you've unlocked them. Let's have the glowing overlay. So in here you have glows already made with candle flames inside. So you can add candle flames, lantern lights, you can add these um, glowing screens, you can add magic, you can add bokeh, you can add lots of things. For example, the bokeh here. Let's just bring that down the bottom and just add that little touch of Santa magic coming into the image here. Let's apply uh, one of the magic trail overlays. So you need to make sure that you've unzipped these again or Photoshop won't be able to read them. And let's add a magic trail to this image. Which one should we go for? How about this one? So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to right click and flip this one, whoops, flip this one horizontal. And let's place that coming around center a little bit. And kind of coming around those children there, so it's kind of coming around the chair. And hit stop. And there we go. And you can see now that that has added some magic in. So we're creating a very magical scene and at any point you can just turn these all on or off because the layers remain editable. So it's up to you um, how much of this you'd like to add. And once you're happy with your editing, you can come down here to the, oh, hang on. towards the night before Christmas section. Underneath here you have the Ice Kiss Winter action, so that's a different action set. So now we have what was the night before Christmas, and these are finishing overlays you can add to your image to give it that beautiful finish. So which one should we go for? You can either choose your story, play them all to mix and match, let me click that one for a moment, or you can play each one individually. When you get a feel for um, which images you want to edit and your style, whether you're editing dark, whether your images are bright, whether they're blue, whether they're rustic like this one, you know which um, which washes you're going to use to finish up. So you can go ahead and play them all and mix and match until you find your perfect blend. So I'm going to start at the bottom and start turning these on. Start with Mount to the Sky. That's really nice. Blitzen's Breezy. Donna's Deep. Cupid's Cute. I mean, this, this is a really nice combination. Fiction's Vision. Really nice. Prance's Pudding. Dancers downtown and the great thing with these is it you can just literally have an unlimited combination so you can just click I think Dasha's Darling is too much for this image so I'm going to turn that one off. Letters to Santa really really cute but I'm going to turn that one off too. City Edge will bring some darkness in. I'm not sure if that's really needed for this image so I'm going to turn that one off. And then the contrast. Let's turn the contrast down a smidge. Now one of these is adding a lot of darkness to our image, so I'm just going to turn them on, grab the brush, set to large, and I'm just going to take this off some of those edges. Make sure you're on the layer mask when you're brushing. So you can see I'm literally just dragging this around, just to take the effect off a little bit. Okay, and when you're happy, you can go ahead and close the group. At any point, you can drag actions around, you can reorder the actions, you can turn them on, you can turn them off. It really does depend on um, how you'd like your finished image to look. So let's see where we were. This is where we started, and this is where we finished. Gorgeous image to begin with, we just added that Christmas magic to the scene to make it this beautiful fantasy shot that the clients are going to love. And you can of course keep going as long as you want to, but when you're finished you can just hit save and um, you save your full size image and save your web size image for clients. 
I'm just going to add another one last contrast kick here. Let's turn that down just a little. And there we go. And you can get these actions over on the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.